Right now, Atlanta police are investigating multiple shootings following a weekend of gunfire across the city. Officers responded to at least 10 incidents in just the last three days, including one involving a baby. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter takes a closer look at this latest string of violence. This home is where that baby was grazed by a bullet on its ear. You can actually see the mark of a gunshot through the window here in this home. Police tell me though the 10 month old was in the yard when a car pulled up and someone started shooting. Neighbors I spoke to tell me they're afraid to be in their homes this morning. APD responded to at least nine other shootings, ranging from aggravated assault that required hospitalization to a deadly shooting. On Friday, a 61-year-old man was shot and killed on West Oak Street. Someone was shot the next night near Atlanta University Center on MLK Drive and taken to the hospital in serious condition. There were two other shootings where the victim accidentally shot themselves, two where someone's house was shot at, and at least three others that involved arguments. Several of these involved juvenile According to police, I recently spoke with Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens about gun violence, particularly when it comes to the city's youth. Anytime violence occurs in our city, I'm concerned, and especially when it's dealing with uh, juveniles, uh, teens. The mayor noted that while the city has seen a decrease in homicides and shootings this year, he's concerned about the amount of teenagers committing crimes. And when we hear about things like that during spring break or during uh, as we get towards the summer month, we're concerned. Dickens launched his Year of the Youth initiative earlier this year to help tackle violence when it comes to Atlanta's children, providing them with mentors and necessary resources to thrive. So we want to make sure that we do all we can to work with the schools and work with the after school programs to make these kids safer. According to APD, as of last week, shootings across the city had decreased by 14 percent and homicides by 29 percent. In Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.